I'm presenting our three-year results from the Robust One clinical trial looking at the Optolum urethral drug-coated balloon for urethral strictures. These are my conflicts of interest. Here are some graphics depicting the mode of action of the paclitaxel-coated balloon. Inflating the balloon once in position across the stricture plastically deforms and opens the urethral lumen, creating microfissures in the urethral wall for drug uptake. Paclitaxel is circumferentially delivered with precision drug dosing along the length of the stricture. Paclitaxel is a hydrophobic drug and is absorbed by the target tissue. Paclitaxel remains present through the inflammatory proliferation and remodeling stages of wound healing, inhibiting stricture recurrence. 53 adult men were enrolled with bulbary urethral strictures less than or equal to two centimeters. Patients were excluded who had a history of prior urethroplasty or lichen sclerosis. 43% of men had undergone two or more prior dilations with a mean of 1.7. Intermittent self-dilation was not counted as prior dilation. 43 subjects were evaluable at the three-year time point. Outcomes for robust one at one and two years have been previously reported in the Canadian Journal of Urology. Anatomic success measured by the ability to pass a 16 French scope was stable between six months and one year. Functional success remained at 70% through two years. Outcomes were consistent by stricture length and number of prior interventions. However, subjects treated with a 30 French balloon showed significantly better outcomes than those treated with a 24 French balloon. Sizing of the drug-coated balloon to the healthy distal urethra has proven to be critical for proper drug delivery and outcomes. It should be noted that the 30 French balloon has become the standard sizing for bulbar strictures based on this data. The primary efficacy endpoint was defined as those with 50% improvement in IPSS from baseline without repeat intervention. Success was achieved in 29 of 43 patients or 67% which is stable from our two-year results showing 70% success. IPSS improved from a mean of 25 at baseline to 5.5 at three years. Mean Qmax at three years was improved at 15.1 milliliters per second. Freedom from repeat intervention has remained stable compared to two-year results and is significantly better than previous reports for patients undergoing repeat dilation. Results are even better when the Optolume drug-coated balloon is properly sized to the distal healthy urethra at 30 French. Quality of life, flow rate, and PVR improved significantly, and there was no impact on erectile function at all evaluated time points. Subjects with recurrent bulbar strictures treated with the drug-coated balloon showed significant improvement through three years. Long-term follow-up will continue through five years, a randomized controlled trial is ongoing.